Today on the channel, I'm back, and better than ever, like a young Eric Bischoff, WWE Mattel Creations, WCW Monday Nitro Ultimate Ring unboxing. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another WWE Mattel Ultimate unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got a first time in the Ultimate line. We got Eric Bischoff. And of course, this Eric Bischoff is from the Mattel Creations Ringside Collectible Exclusive WCW Monday Nitro Ultimate Ring. So if you're looking for that ring, head over to Mattel Creations or head over to Ringside Collectibles. And at Ringside, make sure you use discount code KYLE, save 10%. Of course, Mattel Creations, use discount code See You Later to save 0%. Yes, 0%. That's the way it goes from time to time. Got to get a deal or not, as we know. But a lot like the Kane WWE Mattel Attitude Ring, now we get the Nitro Ring with Eric Bischoff. Little bit to be desired for me in this case of this one here, as I wish it was in a traditional Ultimate Box, just like that last Kane. Really wish they would have done that, but not in the cards as we see, and I think that's the wave of the future with things like this. They're going to put it in these new boxes. Thankfully, the retail boxes do not look like this, though, uh, at the end of the day. And, of course, at the end of the day, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other ones on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I am doing a separate video on the WCW Monday Nitro ring. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Check that out. My wife, Angie, joins me for that one to help me put that ring together. Because let's be honest, I need all the help I can get. So there you go. But without further ado, let's see what old Eric Bischoff is up to here. There's old Easy e himself looking interesting and a lot of looks with this one. This is one of those ones I wouldn't mind having a couple of. However, at that price point with the ring... Gets pretty expensive, as we do know. But you got Eric Bischoff at the top. A little Glamour Shot Ultimate Edition as well. Ultimate Articulation for Authentic Posability. How about that? There's old Eric looking good, looking old like an Eric Bischoff could look at the start of the NWO time frame. Eric Bischoff name. You got Bischoff Ultimate Edition WWE. On the back, we got the tail of the tape. We got the cross sell. I guess not the cross sell. We got the blurb. We got the Glamour Shot of the figure. Glamour Shot of the man himself. Let's see what it says about our old friend Eric Bischoff. Height, 5 foot 10 from Detroit, Michigan. Beautiful this time of year. Finisher, the dreaded roundhouse kick. Career highlight, president of WCW. Makes me want to get a karate Bischoff in the elite line. I could see that coming in the future, part of the Monday Night Wars. If Vince McMahon was still on good terms, I bet we'd get a Vince in one side and we get Eric Bischoff on the other. And we get karate Eric Bischoff. That would be something. Uh, it does say, though, Eric Bischoff ran commentary on WCW Monday Nitro programming. Behind the scenes, he ran the show. Under his watch, WCW challenged WWE for Monday Night Supremacy. And for 83 weeks, WCW ruled the ratings. The audience was shocked when Eazy-E turned his back on the program he built. And with his signature swarmy smile, joined the NWO. And it was a fateful day that day. Uh, I'll never forget that Monday way back when. Oh, there you go. But we're going to get him out of the package. We're going to see what truly all the fuss is about. Per the norm, give the old see you later off to the side. And we got a little Eric Bischoff, a little two and one, three and one, whatever you want to do here. Extra hands, extra head, extra shirts, all kinds of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. It is truly ultimate. And this one feels a little bit more ultimate than that cane figure we got. Is I do like that cane, and we'll bring that out in a little bit. Uh, it just felt like uh, we didn't get a lot of bells and whistles with that one. See you later, goodbye. And you got that. And. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down to business here. Eric Bischoff doing his Eric Bischoff things. So we do get a straight-up white shirt here. If you want pre-NWO Eric Bischoff, you can use this white shirt. Nice cloth shirt, and it's like a traditional real shirt is what it's like here. Uh, no Velcro, anything like that, just a straight-up white shirt going on. So if that is your thing, there you go. Then we do get a WCW microphone. Is this the first time we've seen this incarnation? I think we've seen it with the Nitro logo, haven't we? I don't know if we've seen this one. I can't remember, at least off the top of my head right here. But the classic WCW letters on here. A little of that blue and yellow color going on. Standard microphone. Got to have that with Eric Bischoff. He was always talking about something, as we know. 
Two gripping hands out of the package. We do get two uh, ricochet hands, I guess we'll call them, or the Bret Hart hands. You got a little of that going on, but we do got those hands going on. And then we do get two pointing fingers here. So he's going to tell you to stick it. He's going to talk to you. He's going to talk to you. He's going to give you one of those, brother. Or he's going to give you one of these kind of things. We remember him doing that kind of stuff all the time. So we do get those. And then we do get some bare arms for Eric as well. So removable arms, always a good thing on these ultimates. Helps you get those shirts on and off a heck of a lot easier. We learned that with the Eddie Guerrero Walmart ultimate back in the day, six months ago. What is time? Who knows? Uh, but looking good. Some bare arms right here looking nice. And now we get down to Eric Bischoff. We're going to start with the head sculpts on this. So two different head sculpts going on here. Very interesting. The first head sculpt I feel looks more like Eric Bischoff than the second. The first one looks obviously a much younger Eric Bischoff. Uh, jet black hair back in the day as we do know. A little bit of pouty lips going on. He's got two eyes, two ears, a nose and a mouth. He's playing those human hits. Uh, but it does look like Eric Bischoff. He's even got a little bit of that long hair in the back. Just your standard Eric Bischoff is what you think of here. Now, the second one here, I can't unsee Mario Lopez. Oh, saved by the bell legend, Mario Lopez. Dumb. Stupid. Good friend of the channel. Those saved by the bell kids love this channel, as we do know. But he does look a lot like Mario Lopez right there. So I really can't unsee that. It feels like he should be at Bayside High, maybe getting ready for uh, a big matchup against Valley. Oh, watch out, Valley. Uh, he's got the teeth showing there, all the human hits being played once again, same kind of hairstyle as well. Definitely think I'm going to have to go this route with this one here. But the cool thing about this extra head, you could buy a suited figure, you could buy a different figure out there, easy custom action with uh, Eric Bischoff. You get one of those John Cena Hollywood elites, maybe throw an NWO shirt on it, something like that, and bam, just like that, you got another Eric Bischoff figure you could use. Or you can use this white shirt, for example. So there's definitely opportunities uh, to make an easy second custom without buying a second figure if you wanted to. Just need to put my head uh, to the paper and figure out the best way to go around that. But definitely do prefer the first head sculpt if I had to choose. Now Eric Bischoff here, he does got the leather jacket on. Of course, a staple of Eric Bischoff back in the day, always wearing that leather jacket. Once again, arms removable, so you can just slide that jacket off very easily. You do get the NWO shirt underneath, the tank top going on traditional shirt you have to pull over like a real shirt instead of the velcro uh, on this one here love the gold buckle and zipper on this one even the buttons makes it uh, stand out against that black i would say but looking very nice there of course talk about the soft good shirt looking really good of course classic nwo logo on the front got a little bit of jeans going on a little bit of a lighter color jean here in the blue it definitely looks like blue jeans looking nice got the black shoes on down here as well of course articulation on old eric bischoff arms go all the way around do get a bicep cut double jointed elbows hands back four side to side like i said arms removable very easily removable so we do like the simplicity of that it is hard to get some of these off sometimes so that is definitely a big help there of course, head back for size said head removable, traditional uh, upper hula hoop on the ultimate figures, traditional waist as well. Big old Eric Bischoff splits if you do need them. And he does got the drop down hip articulation for those keeping track at home. Once again, you do get the thigh cut, double jointed knees, pinless knees, very tight, but they do work. They are double jointed. You do get a little ankles back and forth. And like a young Todd McFarlane sleeping on the couch during the wrestling unboxings, we do get the toe articulation in tribute. To Todd McFarlane there. There it is. He does fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles. But easy E doing easy E things. No doubt about it. A guy we need more figures of. Let's be honest. We need some from his time as general manager in Raw for sure. Would love to get gray hair. Definitely want the karate Eric Bischoff. Wouldn't be opposed to an elite NWO one. Uh, a lot of Eric Bischoffs I feel still could be done in the Mattel line. And hopefully will be in the future. I guess we'll see what happens there. But speaking of Eric Bischoff figures. We did get this one part of the Ruthless Aggression era line. A good general uh, manager, Eric Bischoff, for sure, no doubt about it. But I think there's a lot of different looks we could get. Uh, beard, shorter hair, gray hair, as I mentioned. I think there's some alternatives we could get in the future. And I guess it could be as easy as multiple heads on an elite as well. But definitely do like the looks of this Eric Bischoff. And I guess I could. You can pop that off and you could pop this on here and now you got just straight up mario lopez on like entertainment tonight or access hollywood whatever he's on i don't know it does work i guess skin tone it works i mean you could easily do that if you wanted to looks a little crazy but maybe he's ready to interview some uh, stars who knows maybe he's gonna hit up elizabeth berkeley and talk about the old times and maybe talk about her movie career you never know what might happen there uh but it does look good for what it is but it's nice to get more eric bischoff's 
once again. And of course, you got to have some NWO friends with him. We got both versions. I said, I'm just going to grab both of them. We got Hollywood Hulk Hogan with the white, uh, non tan skin, and then that beautiful hot dog flavored. <laughs> it's flavored. Yes, it is tan skin tone color. And I actually just sold, uh, very uh, fitting right here, just a couple hours ago, I did sell a Hulk Hogan Jack's Classic Superstar ringside. Or I guess not ringside. It was the ticket exclusive one. For remember the WrestleMania ticket promotion? I did sell that to Hulk Hogan in his beat shop. So head over to the beat shop. I think he's going to have that bad boy on display. That's a rare boy these day, this day and age. I did have an extra. And it's headed to Clearwater, Florida. It's headed to the beat shop there. So check that out if you're in the area. How about that? Small world. Small world. But looking good right here. And I did mention this one as well. It is the Raw Ring Kane. So put the rings together. We got Kane versus Eric Bischoff. Who's going to come out alive? My guess, probably Kane. Yeah, I think that's the one. That's the way it's going to go right there. But this Eric, a great one. It fits in. It's a good one to put with a ring. Not sure we'll see more Ultimate Eric Bischoffs. So it is a way to make sure people get the ring because it's your only chance. However, I do really feel we'll get, unless something crazy happens, more Elite Eric Bischoffs. And I think we got to have one in an NWO form one day, I have to imagine. So there it is. The Ultimate Eric Bischoff from the Mattel Creations Ringside Collectible Shared Exclusive ring what are your thoughts on this bischoff a pickup a pass a long game a no game let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and of course you made it this far don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell we got videos every single day and then some we got even more content for you of course over on patreon patreon the best way to support this very youtube channel and all the content it does bring and oh there's a lot of content as you guys do know even more over on patreon of course patreon the best way to support the channel you do get monthly giveaways monthly q a's weekly pizza reviews dog stuff all the glamour shots plus early access to all the videos a lot going on the patreon appreciate all the support over there you can also support the channel pressandtees.com search kyle peterson don't forget barnes and noble hardcover exclusive amazon soft cover the complete guide to the jacks wwe classic superstars line by yours truly just shy of 700 pages in this massive textbook and that's what it is it's a school thing you should be taking it like school it should be your school book and you're studying it every single night and there will be tests and maybe a pop quiz or two so stay tuned for those also, if you want an autographed copy, hit me up social media, Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the ultimate Eric Bischoff, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.